do you want to live longer? So we have new research showing that umbilical cord stem cells can actually help to increase your lifespan. We do what's called intravenous stem cells that go throughout your whole body and they actually increase biomarkers of longevity. So there's a specific biomarker called telomeres. So telomeres, what happens as you age is the length of them actually shortens. And so IV stem cells have been shown to actually increase telomere length and it can increase it up to 13 years based off some recent research. So it's pretty crazy to think that one treatment of intravenous stem cells could increase your lifespan by 13 years. Now, I'm not saying don't do all the other stuff. Exercise is probably by far the most important thing, increasing muscle mass, but there is so much exciting research in terms of reducing aging and reducing inflammation with intravenous stem cells. I'm very excited to start doing that in Mexico, Italy, and Dubai, and we're gonna use the right type of stem cells so there's no harm being done and there's a lot of potential benefits. Are you struggling with sleep? So you've probably heard of peptides, but there is a peptide called Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. So obviously, as the name suggests, it can help you to sleep. So I'm actually a big fan of this, it's DSIP. It's hard to get through a physician, but you can get it online, and there's a lot of people I know who've used it, and there are some doctors prescribing it in the States, and they've had great success helping people sleep. The problem with pharmaceuticals is that they can become habit-forming, meaning they can be addictive, but they also have side effects. They can deplete your body of nutrients, they can actually give you more sleep, but not better quality sleep, and that's the biggest issue with most of the pharmaceuticals. And so, whereas DSIP can actually help to increase the quality of sleep and be more restorative, and there are no side effects. So I'm actually a big fan of it. Of course, there's supplements and whatnot, but sometimes those don't work either. So check it out, DSIP. What is biofabrication? So biofabrication is using 3D bioprinters to actually print tissue, and then we can see that tissue with stem cells, and then we can actually regrow completely new organs. This is a perfect example of cutting edge science, gene editing, cell therapy, and tissue engineering all coming together. This is really the future of regenerative medicine. There's so much more research coming on this and it's actually happening clinically as well. There's a research study going on right now using 3D bioprinters where they print a polymer scaffold and then they seed it with the stem cells and then they can actually resurface or regrow an entire cartilage joint. So meaning instead of getting a hip or knee replacement, you can just regrow the entire cartilage using the 3D bioprinter and the stem cells. This is really the key of regenerative medicine. It's the triangle that we call is progenitor cells or stem cells, growth factors, and a scaffold coming together into one to regrow new tissue. So you're gonna see more and more of that coming together as the technology advances, but biofabrication is where we're gonna go with the next generation of therapeutics.